Hi, today I'm doing why I love this film on The Wizard of Oz, and honestly this should be like no explanation because it's Wizard of Oz, <laughs> but um, I have some bad news regarding this DVD. There's a huge scratch in it, like it's not even like a little, it's a big scratch, like it's pretty deep as well. Because I've, it's one of my favorite movies, so obviously I watch it a lot. I've seen it like, I watch it at least once a month, maybe twice a month, depends. And so I was watching it yesterday and it was going really slow. It wasn't like skipping, but it took a while to get through and it was like struggling. And it made me really sad because a lot of my DVDs lately are not working. Because, again, I watch all my favorite films so a lot, so eventually the desk gets worn out, and that's been happening. And I was dreading the day that it would happen to The Wizard of Oz, but it's happened. It's there. It's, I can't fix it. I can't. There's no way to fix it. Like, I can't clean it, because, like I said, it's really deep. Scratch, and so... I'm actually like concerned. Um, I'm probably going to have to rebuy it at some point. I'm going to rebuy it because I cannot have it skipping. Like I cannot have it like having issues because I need to watch it. I need to have it in my life because it's important to me. But why I love this film so much, it's the acting, it's the song, it's the uh, friendship between Dorothy, Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow, and I love Toto, and I love Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch. Was amazing. She was great. And then when I was watching this, like I got a newfound respect for Uncle Henry. I always like Uncle Henry is the unsung hero of this film because of his him saying, "Oh, she bit her dog." Did she? It's one of my favorite lines, and it's by him. And I never appreciate him, so I wanted to like give him a shout out because Uncle Henry, I love him. He's great. And, um, of course, Summer of the Rainbow is one of the best film songs. It is one of the best film, like, f songs of all time. Like, Judy Garland, that was her song. And I don't like it when other people sing it. I've heard covers that I've liked, but I always, it wasn't written for her, but it should have been. It's kind of like talks like about her and her struggles but not about her struggles because it was written before a lot of that happened so it's like it was it's kind of her anthem it's kind of her song so I don't really like it when other people sing it because with her I can feel the emotion behind it and I can feel how important the song was to her and she really did love the song it didn't mean a lot to her so um yeah, so that song is just like, was a very personal song to her. And so the, for that reason, I don't like it when other people sing it. It's like, that's her song. That's her uh, message, I guess, to the world of that song. But as, And then I only love the lot of the lines. Like, I love this film. It's so beautiful. It's like, everything about it is perfect. And obviously, I watched it when I was little. But like Judy Garland is like now like one of my favorite actresses of all time. And I got introduced to her, obviously, because of this. And I've seen quite a few of her films. And I know how talented she is, and or was. And, oh my god, it's, it's just it's a happy movie. Like, it's just one of those movies that you put on makes you happy there's not a lot like there's really no drama in it it's like it's so so easy to watch and everyone can watch it um maybe the wicked witch would be scary to some kids she wasn't to me but um maybe that would be an issue to some people i mean the flying monkeys did kind of freak me out when i was younger and they still kind of freak me out they're kind of weird so like they do kind of pick me out now but um you know it's still pretty easy watch and um yeah you know if you haven't seen it by now you need to you need to see this movie and love it because it's great and that is all